Hello. So first things first, if you're wondering what happened to my face, true story, I was trimming a horse's feet this morning and I punched myself so hard in the face with the handle of my um, clippers that I needed the vet to stitch me up. And the good thing is, is the vet, just by pure coincidence, was already on site doing something for another horse. And she was actually in the same barn, two stables down, when I smashed myself in the face. Can't believe I didn't knock myself out. I hit myself that hard. Um, and I was kind of like, oh, ow, that hurt. I'm fine. And then I tried to carry on trimming the horse's feet. Bust my, like, blood everywhere. And so I was like, walking down the barn aisle, like, <laughs> I saw the vet and I was like, we do me a solid. And uh, she did. Um, so, just in case you were wondering, that is all that it was. It's just me being a clumsy twat, as usual. All right, so questions. This is from Justine, who says, I've been in proper recovery for about a year now, but I still find that if I have extra active day due to work or whatever, I find that the day after my mental hunger goes crazy. It's so unsettling. It's like I get knocked off balance. It's like my body and mind just go crazy. When will this stop? I'm eating without restriction. It makes me feel like it will just never end. I want to not have these bouts of extreme hunger. Yeah, normal, I'm afraid. Don't worry about it. It happens. Just try not to let it stress you out. Um, you In that first year or so of recovery, just our resilience, um, that's what I always call it, just your resilience, your, your body's resilience to dealing with a day where you do a lot or slightly more than usual, or even a day where you accidentally don't eat enough, you know, um, to match because you had to do too much or whatever it was. All of the time, I'm assuming that this is completely by accident and nobody is at this point in recovery um, purposefully restricting or um, trying to get themselves an energy deficit that day. But we just, in that first couple of years of recovery, most of us just don't have any resilience to be in energy deficit, even for a short space of time. And you'll find that what happens if you do is just like you have discovered, your extreme hunger goes nuts. Um, I certainly, I'd say it was probably a good two years before um, my body had more resilience to that sort of thing. Um, the best thing that you can do is just try and avoid it, of course. So bear in mind that should you even accidentally do too much or eat too little, you're going to pay for it the next day. Um, for me, my I would get extreme hunger um, either the next day or the same day. So if it was, say, if I did too much in the morning was working too hard or something like that and then and I'm when I'm saying do too much I'm not talking like I'm going doing exercise or any shit like that I just mean like a little bit busier than usual that's how um sensitive my body was to it I then usually eat tons even in that afternoon um if it was later in the day then I might find it would be the next day that I would just want to cram food in my face just like back in the days when I had extreme hunger um the other thing that I would find that I would feel extremely tired so I would always know if I overdid it the day before because I would just be flat on my ass for the next day um and I noticed that pattern pretty quickly and it actually made me in quite a good way very afraid of not eating enough and doing too much and so in that first couple of years I I was ultra careful because I knew that if I slipped up accidentally then yeah like I said I pay for it the next day um now as you um move through life shall we say those years after recovery you will find that your resilience improves and that's not to say that you should ever be not eating enough on purpose but you'll just find that if on the odd occasion something comes up I don't know you get stuck stuck in a traffic jam and you can't move for an hour and you're an hour late for lunch you'll find that you don't have to completely then eat the entire house that afternoon that's the sort of thing I'm talking about that actually happened to me once I was stuck in a traffic jam um it's like on the m25 and it was just like you're just stuck there you're just sitting there can't go either way um and you can't get out your car and so I really needed a pee I remember that but also it was around lunchtime and I was really hungry and I got finally home super late it was like mid-afternoon before I got to eat lunch and I just felt I just ate the entire house 
And I was like, fuck's sake. Like, seriously? It's not like I even purposely tried to do anything and it's not like I skipped a meal, I was just late for it and then this happens and it did happen. But you just gotta be like, oh well, I guess it's gonna happen. It's because your body's that sensitive to it. Um, nowadays, God forbid, if I got stuck in a traffic jam, I very much doubt once I got out of the traffic jam, I'd need anything much other than the loo really badly. Um, you know, I'd be fine. And that's more like a normal person. That's what we're moving towards. But as I keep saying, it can take a couple of years before your body builds up that sort of resilience. So the moral of the story is don't worry about it. Keep doing what you're doing. Just be super careful to try not let yourself, let yourself get into any sort of even daily deficit, hourly deficit. Right. Bye.